Well, I'm back to the beach again. I think I'm going to do some metal detecting. I'm going to try the gravels right here, and if I don't find anything, I'll head down to the beach and find some other low spots to see what I can do. Stay tuned. Sorry about the wind. Right here, my first find. We're going to see it together. It's a copper Lincoln. And it is a memorial back. Hey, at least I finally found a find. <laughs> I've been trying to fight through a bunch of uh, iron. This beach is loaded with iron. So, I don't know if I can get a date or not. It's like 1970. Nice big chunk of copper wire, square in shape. Don't know what that would have gone to, but it's kind of neat. Okay, I found it, but I haven't looked at it yet. It's right there. There it is. I would say this is piece to a, uh, a little red on it, so it could be part of a toy car. Found a dime this time, just a clad one. Can't even get the year yet, but it is a dime. Still doing a circular pattern around these finds and I found a shell casing. Just the very end of one. I'll have to get back to you on its size, it's pretty well deteriorated. It's got roundness. I don't think it's a coin. I'm guessing grommet. No, no. Piece of copper wire. Just used my foot. Scraped away this little brass tag. I don't know what it is. Right on the surface. Just found this very thin piece of lead with a hole right in the middle of it. Well, found myself another chunk of copper wire. Now this is where I was at, right there, all these little spots, and I've kind of worked my way away. So, we'll see what I find next. Melitector rang up so good on this, but ended up being just a chunk of steel, a chunk of iron. There it is. I knew it rang up to be a quarter. Looks like a modern clad. Not sure what that says. But it's still a quarter. Got it. Another memorial penny. It's all right, it's another find. Just found another clad dime right there. It's kind of a ways away from where I was finding them, way over here, so I'm trying to find more new spots. I'm gonna live dig this one. I'm saying it's either a copper penny, dime, or a quarter. Reading a uh, 80 one direction and 85 the other. It might be just jumping top of wire. The first thing I'm going to do is scrape away some crap so I can expose it. We'll get the pin pointer out. Oh, I see it. It's not uh, what I was saying, but it was the copper wire I was talking of. <laughs> All right, it's rounded, that's why it seemed like it was a quarter dime or copper penny. Another copper coin. It's a penny. Been there a while. Looks like I have another memorial. I really wanted to find a weedy or a silver coin, but that's okay, eventually it'll come to me. 
clad dimes starting to add up just another uh, coppery clad looks like I got another copper penny Could this be a weedy nope just another memorial have another coin here yeah, it's just another memorial I'm finding all copper memorials this is kind of nice well I wish they were wheat back pennies or even older but copper is better than zinc looks like I have another copper penny here and it's another memorial copper in the hole oh huh wonder what this was. Let me rub it on my pants. I think it was a button. <laughs> kind of cool looking. Might be a design on it. Oh, you know, I see some gold gilt. Maybe this was military button. I'll have to definitely see if I can figure out what that is. Cool. You know, I keep finding clad dimes. So I stopped videoing them. I just want to see if I could find a penny that's copper that, that is definitely a wheat back. And I have another one here to look at. Nope, another memorial. I just found this copper. I believe it's a penny. I don't quite know what it is yet. I think I see the bust of Lincoln right there. <laughs> I have to get back to you if I can even figure out if this is a wee back, but if it is, maybe, <laughs> just maybe I found one. Before I do the wrap up on day one, I'd like to show you some finds that I have from last year. Would have been my video number three of last year. I was working on video number three. I have all these finds. I lost all the footage. So I kept this until this year just to show it, and I'd like to uh, let you see it. Anyway, a couple of these things might have been from uh, video one or two of last year. So if you see something in those videos, I'm sorry, it might have been mixed in. I don't think so, though. I got into all these old relic fishing lures. It's kind of odd, but I don't know how. My metal detector just decided to start finding them. At the same time it was finding all these, it found all these zinc pennies. It, it didn't find copper pennies. And then one day, I'm finding a copper quarter, or, you know, clad. I have these two clad dimes, a nickel, and uh, four copper pennies. I found uh, you know, this flashlight button. I believe this is to a flashlight. Copper wire, copper tubing, a zipper pull. Some lead, lead bullet, tire weight, lead, some steel, stainless steel. This is the junk aluminum. Anyway, that's what I ended up finding. Um, I just couldn't get any good relics other than these to add to it or any silver or any wheat back pennies. In my area, you know, we've been around a while. This is West Coast finds. It's hard to find old, old coins all the time. But uh, <clears throat> it is a little better on the East Coast because there's hundreds of years. Out here, there's not as many of hundreds of years, so I don't find as old of coins. This is day one. Not a lot of finds out here, but I did find uh, a bit of copper. On the beach where it's eroded away, there's some low spots out there, and I actually found a pay zone. So right here on the flats is what I call the pay zone. I start finding coins and other relics, copper along with some steel, um, lead, aluminum. I ended up with nine clad dimes, three clad quarters, eight copper pennies, and the clip before, I actually showed zinc. I didn't hardly find copper. So I was amazed that I got into everything copper and clad. This penny here that I thought was a wheat back penny, or could be because it was so smooth, you can barely see it. You may not be able to, but I can. That's a Canadian leaf. This is a Canadian penny. One cent. This copper here rang up pretty loud. It was like as if it was a coin, but it ended up being 
<clears throat> just a copper a wire that wrapped something, held something that's no longer there. Uh, this here, I sanded it. There's a 42 there somewhere, probably right here by my fingernail. And I believe this is military, and I believe it's 30 out 6, same as this piece. This here is the only button I found. It's concaved or convex. I don't even know what you call this. Has a shank spot in the bottom. And I actually found gold. It's gold gilded. <laughs> so it's kind of neat. Uh, as far as it goes, day two got better. I actually found uh, relatively the same amount of coins, but I did find uh, some good finds. So if you would like to see that video, it's going to be coming out in a couple weeks after this video. Anyway, if you haven't, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you want to see more of my types of videos, everything to do with outdoors, hit the notification bell. And uh, please press like. Uh, tell a friend. Again, thank you for watching.